give us clean hands this morning. And uh, it's kind of just a little prayer song, really. It's uh, I'll just teach it to you while we're looking. Okay. We bow our heart, bend our knees. Oh, Spirit, come make us humble. We turn our eyes from evil things. Oh, Lord, we cast down our idols. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. God, let us be a generation that seeks. Seeks your face, O oh God of Jacob. We bow our hearts. We bow our hearts. Bend our knees. Oh, Spirit, come make us humble. We turn our eyes from evil things. Oh, Lord, we cast down our idols. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. Give us clean hands. Give us pure hearts. Let us not lift our souls to another. God, let us be a generation that seeks, seeks your face, O oh God of Jacob. Oh God, let us be a generation that seeks, seeks your face, O oh God of Jacob. Jeff. <laughs> we bow our hearts, bend our knees. Oh, Spirit, come make us humble. <laughs> you guys notice I didn't jump up real quick when he asked me to. Hey, that's an inside joke because he said earlier, I said, about next week, uh, I said, what do you want to change on the bulletin or whatever? He said, take the pastor praise yeah, pastor off praise there. Pastor praise off. Because <laughs> I'm not the pastor and I don't sing. So so we're, we're canceling that for next week. So there's your fair warning. If you don't want to come next week, you know who's going to be uh, bringing a message. So uh, just fair warning. But uh, announcements for, for this morning, um, it's great to see the, all the activities that the scouts have been doing, and Ryan and Ronnie, I'm sure if you guys want some extra hands to, to help, or if anybody wants to volunteer, you'd probably take that, wouldn't you? Right, yeah, you guys are all for that. So if you do want to help out with the scouts, um, hit those guys up, whether it's one time or on a reoccurring basis, I'm sure they'd love to have you. Um, Regular Sunday school classes start up on September 12th, um, so be prepared for that. Also, if you want to teach a class or, or just help out occasionally, um, that would be welcomed as well. Uh, church directories are in the back. We're still taking donations for the Judah House. Uh, Meals on Wheels is August 9th through the 13th. And scouts will be starting back up here in August, um, looks like. So uh, we, we look forward to that. Also, we, we announced last week that, or maybe it was the week before, that uh, St. Ute's Day has been canceled um, at uh, Frontier City. But we're still going to try to use that date, I believe. No, my wife is shaking her head. No. August 29th. Well, that's when St. Okay, yeah, the 28th was supposed to be St. Ute's Day. I'm a day off. But that Sunday, August the 29th, we're going to use that as our kickoff for youth. Um, so grades 7th through 12th grades. Um, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Tara, we talked about meeting at the park on that day. And, and it being kind of a whole church-wide event, doing our homemade ice cream, volleyball, I think she mentioned something about the pastor bringing his guitar and doing a little singing, um, that type of deal. 
Um, so, and, and one thing that we talked about that we would like to do with the, the youth this year is one Sunday a month, possibly, having kind of a church-wide event, whether it's at the park, whether it's a game night, um, whatever it is, maybe even a cleanup day at the church or something, just kind of one, one Sunday a month, just doing a full church activity um, with the youth group. Um, so be looking for that. We'll, we'll have things planned as, as it gets closer. So I've rambled enough. Are there any announcements that I might have overlooked or missed that needs to be brought forward? All right. Well, with that, let's stand up and greet one another and tell each other that we're happy to see each other this morning. We may just do this all next Sunday. <laughs> we'll get up and just say amen and everybody can go home. I'll talk to your dad and sit there on my They're leaving the state. <laughs> what does that tell you? Mysterious ways, my brother. All right, as everybody makes your, your way back to your pews, let's join in the uh, call to worship this morning. That worked well, didn't it? Or not. All right. O oh God, listen to our cry. Hear our prayers. Lead us to the towering rock of safety, for you are our safe refuge. Let us worship God. Amen. Pastor Mike, would you lead us in a word of prayer? Will you pray with me? Almighty, good and gracious Father, we bow our heads today and we come to you. As it is, we know our lives have meaning. We know in you our lives have purpose. We come today to speak of that purpose. We cannot find that purpose on our own. So we ask that you be in conversation with us. As we pray, you answer. As we pray, you act. Hear us, O oh God. Hear us, Lord. We come to you in this manner today. Open to your will. Open to your purpose in our lives. And open mostly to you in the spirit. 
In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we all say, Amen. Now, if you would, stand and say with me what we believe this morning as we recite the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he rose from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen and amen. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. Would you please remain standing for our hymn of praise this morning? You can find it on page 352 in your Methodist hymnal. It's me, it's me, O Lord. It's me, it's me, it's me, O Lord, standing in the need of It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me. seated. Does anybody have any joys or concerns they'd like to share with the congregation this morning? I have a concern and I know Melinda can probably vouch for me, but our health care workers are tired and COVID coming back again, they desperately need your prayer because we are very short health care workers and they're working many hours, many days with no breaks. And the fear and everything they're working with is just overwhelming. So please keep all the health care workers in your prayers. Thank you. Are there others this morning?
Josh's birthday is today. Happy birthday, Josh. Are there others this morning? Annette. Hi, Annette. Are there others this morning? Hi, Annette. I asked her this morning, I said, you going to play the piano? And she goes, well, if I need to. And I said, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll give you more notice next time or something. <laughs> we love you. That's what we're trying to say. Josh, stand up. 16 is a big day. Your dad's insurance just doubled. <laughs> and so we're really glad that you made it. So we're going to sing happy birthday. Will you all help me sing happy birthday to Josh? Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, God bless you, Josh, happy birthday to you, and no more crashes. Congratulations. So happy today. So many things going on in this world, and... and we're going to talk about prayer today, so I just ask that you would, uh, you would pray with me and, and have your heart open to a move of the Spirit where you might uh, pray for something that you didn't even know you need to pray about. Let's pray. God, you are a giver. You give life. You give health. And we also sing, and we know in your word it says you also take away. Those things that are hard for us today, we want, to, uh, we want to lift up to you. We all have it in our hearts. Those things that are uh, sometimes hard to mention, sometimes hard to even keep in our heads because it hurts. Those are the things that we want to pray today that uh, in your loving care that we understand that, uh, that you know it all in you. You're also the God of repair of restoration, of redemption. We ask for you to reach out to those healthcare workers, so many, and they've been through so much, and we also ask you to calm their fears of, so is it going to look like the same thing again, those fears that, uh, of the unknown. So we ask for you to put a special blessing on them as they go through another period of history, yet unknown, but still fear. All these uh, beloved on our list today, we, we need to pray about these particular lists, uh, this particular list as we uh, leave from here as well today and this week. And you can read them. I won't read them to you, but uh, there's lots going on in the church family that we we need prayers answered for God. We know that in your will and your might, you can do many, many things. We ask for those things in a loud voice as we proclaim your glory. Amen and amen. Now, if you would, would you uh, repeat the prayer that Jesus taught the disciples with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen, and amen. And, and we will have a children's moment. It's just going to be an interruptive time sometime. Whenever they get, <laughs> they're going to come in and sing a song for you. So, <laughs> just want to.
creatures here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. God of all blessings, we bring forth these blessings that you have given to us. As we know, everything returns to you. We thank you for an opportunity to use them. We thank you for an opportunity to give them back and know that you will multiply them in so many ways to meet our mission, to meet your mission. In your precious and holy name, in the name of the one, Jesus, amen. Today's scripture lesson comes to us from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 32 through 37. <clears throat> that evening at sundown, they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door, and he cured many who were sick with various diseases and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak because they knew him. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him. When they found him, they said to him, everyone is searching for you. This is the word of God for the people of God. I just want to remind you in this scripture today, it, uh, it says something that's important to us. And you see, in, in the midst of all the busy schedule of activities, the chaos of healing, suffering people, and casting out demons, and responding to impatient disciples, traveling from town to town, and preaching from synagogue to synagogue, we find these quiet words in the text today, in the morning, long before dawn. He got up and he left the house and went off to a lonely place and prayed there. The more I read this this week, the more I, I realized that uh, sometimes locked in between the loud words of action and, uh, and the sense that a secret of Jesus' ministry is that uh, in the lonely place, he retires to talk to the Father. So it, it makes me wonder about how we do that. How do we find a lonely place and talk to the Father? I don't think it describes, it describes many places Jesus was fond of. Jesus was certainly fond of Bethany. It's there a lot. His gang, his peeps, like to hang out with them. But then he also had to get away, and he got away to the garden. He got away to the mountain. He got away across the sea. He got away. This is going to be about prayer today. And I, and I just want to, I want to read something to you because I, I find it very interesting. And, and if you don't, it's because I, my ability to read is not that good. So John Wesley's meditation on the Lord's prayer. John Wesley, the man, kind of the father of Methodism. He began every day in prayer, he said. He was a man of prayer. And he continued. He called it instant in prayer. Instant. In other words, in an instant, I'll pray. I pray unceasing, right? 
all day long, he says. Prayer was the intimacy with God and his peace and power for daily living. I want you to listen to that. Prayer was his peace and power for daily living. People observed Wesley coming out of his prayer closet and glowing with this light of the uh, uh, light of Christ. It was a light that pierced the hearts of the people he preached to in the fields and those also uh, that he discipled in his bands of Methodist followers. He wrote that the Lord Jesus dictated to us the most perfect and universal form of prayer. It comprehends all our real wants, expresses all our lawful desires, a complete directory and full exercise to all our devotions. He has directed us to pray for these things, sometimes in these words, at least in this manner, he indicates that the Lord's prayer consists of three parts. The preface, our Father who art in heaven, and then six petitions, and then a conclusion. Wesley gives special attention to the preface of the Lord's Prayer because it lays a general foundation for prayer itself. It compromises what we must first know of God before we can pray in confidence of being heard. It likewise points out to us faith, humility, love of God, and the people with which we are to approach God in prayer. Our Father, he says, it says, who art God and gra- good and gracious to all our creator, our preserver, the father, our Lord, the father of our Lord Jesus and of us in him, your children by adoption and grace. Not my father only, but the father of the universe of angels and human beings who art in heaven, filling heaven and earth and beholding all things in heaven and earth, knowing every creature and all their works and every possible event from everlasting to everlasting, the almighty Lord and ruler of all, superintending and disposing, giving inclination to all things. Goes on to say, hallowed be thy name. And may you, O Father, be truly known by all intelligent beings and with the affection suitable to that knowledge. May you be duly honored, loved, feared by all in heaven and in earth by all angels and all people. Kingdom come, he says, may your kingdom come quickly and swallow up all the kingdoms of the earth. May all people revere you, O Christ, for their king and truly believe in your name. May they be filled with righteousness, peace, joy, holiness, and happiness till they are removed into your kingdom of glory to reign with you there forever. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, he says. May all inhabitants of earth do your will as willingly as the holy angels do. May these do it continually without any interruption of their willing service, O Spirit of grace. Make the perfect in every good work to do your will and work in them all that is well-pleasing in your sight. Give us today our daily bread. It says, O Father, for we claim nothing of right, only of you free mercy. We take no worry for tomorrow. We trust for you today all things needful for our souls and bodies, not only the meat that perishes, but the sacramental bread and your grace, the food which endures to everlasting life. Forgive us our debts. Forgive us our trespasses, our debtors. Give us, O Lord, redemption in your blood, the forgiveness of sins, as you enable us freely and fully to forgive. So forgive us all our trespasses. Lead us not into temptation whenever we are tempted, O Lord, who helps our infirmities. Do not allow us to be overcome or suffer loss by it, but make a way for us to escape so that we may be more than conquerors through your love, over all sin and the consequences of that sin. Kingdom of power and the glory is yours, the sovereign right of all things that are ever, ever created, that you created. Yours is the executive power whereby you govern all things in your everlasting kingdom. Yours is the praise due from every creature for all your wondrous works which endure through all ages, even forever. Amen. How to pray, John Wesley. I, I uh, read this, a, seems like I haven't, but I've read this a bunch this week. Because I want to know what we're doing when we're, uh, when we're spouting out what we already know. When we're already talking and we're reading it, it seems like our Father who art in heaven comes pretty easy for us. 
the Lord's Prayer. Said it since we were young. Wesley just lines it up where it's more, uh, it kind of blasts your feelings for me anyway. It blasts the reason. It, it gives me a spirit to know that I am talking to God here. <laughs> not just to the congregation or not just to the screen or, or the bulletin. I'm, and sometimes I think, uh, uh, I'm going to speak for myself, I've, I've lost that. I've lost that. At, at times I'll say the Lord's Prayer and I, it, uh, I don't know that I, I find meaning in it. I, I think I just say it because, well, I know the words. And so sometimes I think we need to break it down, our prayer and what it means, and not just what it means, but who it means what to, right? Where where we're going with our prayers, our petitions, as we say, to God. Where are we going with this? I don't know about you, but my, my prayers sometimes get pretty selfish. God, I want, I want this, I want that. When, you know, when you fix this, you know, do that, whatever, you know. Okay, new car, new motorbike, whatever. And, and then I think, you know, God isn't real because he didn't answer my prayer. I don't have a Maserati. <laughs> I don't even know how to spell that. I'll show you right here. <laughs> I'm not kidding. But it's that manner in which we pray, and it seems like we come up praying a certain thing that just doesn't matter. So we get our own chaos going in our prayers, and we forget to bear down on what we really are praying about, what we really desire. It says in his word that he'll give us our heart's desire. And the only problem with that is most of us don't even have a clue what that really is. It might be a boat. It might be a certain house. It might be a car. It might be whatever in our heads. But that's not your heart's desire. Your, your heart's desire, you are made in the example of God, right? You are God's children. You are perfect in him in Jesus you're perfect and so here's your prayer you got to line out some way or another that you can pray in earnest to God if you're hurting tell him if you're glad tell him if you have joy tell him if you want peace ask him don't just mumble through a few words and say there my prayer is over with you just keep on doing it. <laughs> I, I've been told in my life, you know, I say, what if it doesn't work? And, and, and it, we'll just keep doing it. I said that about a Sunday school class. <laughs> I don't know why I'm going to this. I ain't getting nothing out of this. I don't know what these people were talking about half the time. And, you know, I'd rather just sleep in this morning. Yeah, Pastor Mike. And it's not that way anymore because I did what I was asked to do. I just keep going. I just kept going. I just kept sitting there. And no matter how boring Pastor Mike, I mean, uh, this is somebody else's pastor's boring, not me. Uh, no matter how boring I am, I, I, I observe that in you today. You just come anyway. You know, because you're sent here. Because we are all called and we all can't figure out what that call is until we learn to pray earnestly to the God, the creator, the man who came. The man who came to live amongst us, to teach us, to guide us, to want to hear from us. See, we're created as a re relational being. We're created out of love, for love, into love, and that's where we are. And yes, I've said love 5,054 times, and I haven't been here very long. Just wait. If you'll keep me around for a few more months, I'll say it 5,000 more times. That's where we are today. That's where what we have, to me, as a society, as a people, as a, as a nation, as a, as a world that we should be praying for, is that we learn that love is more important than anything else, that we learn that love for each other is exactly what he came for. He came because we fell out of love with each other. We fell out of love with human beings. We fell out of love with joy because we were trapped in sin. Man. Right? Thank you, Adam. <laughs> and so when we get to it in our prayer life we should say thank you Jesus because you came and you did what Adam did you took it all away 
you brushed it all aside and you said, you know what? Here's your joy. You just got to live into it. You just got to work on it. You just got to talk to me. You just got to have a conversation because if you don't have a conversation, you don't know where I'm at. You can't follow my will if you're not talking to me. You can't follow my will if you're not in tune with what I'm trying to say to you. And the only way to get in tune with what I'm trying to say to you is prayer. And I will say to you in your prayer, you go get the book and you look in there. You try to figure out what these words mean to you because it's a personal relationship that I love and that's what I need from you. I need you to tell me when I'm when you're hurting. I need you to tell me when you uh, feel like the adoption into your family isn't real. I need you to tell me. I need a place where I can visit with somebody about what's going on in my life. And that's not a casual conversation sometimes. That's, Lord, I understand your chaos. I understand your walk, Jesus. I understand that nobody seemed to understand what you were saying, but they followed you anyway. And I'm trying to do that, and I still don't understand what you're saying. And he will say, peace, my child. You are my brother. Because my father adopted you into our family. And you need to have peace. So how do you get to that peace? You get to that peace through visiting with me, praying to me. And I'll hold your hand and I'll lift it up and I'll say, Father, help them. They can't help themselves. Okay, this is Mike, right? Been there, done that. If you feel the spirit of Christ lifting up your hand or holding your hand or just putting his hand on your shoulder and saying, help him. Father, he can't help himself. It's a bold thing in your life, and it'll change your life. But you know what? You're never going to get there if you're you're kind of timid about your prayer. Jesus, thank you so much for all that you do for us. Jesus, thank you. Jesus. Jesus, would you give me a car? Jesus, would you give me a bicycle? Jesus, would you? Okay, those are real prayers. But let's dig down to what we really feel. Let's put our emotions in our prayers. We're going to talk about prayer for the next... Eon, <laughs> a few weeks, when, after Jeff comes uh, next week, I'm not going to give him anything to, to talk about, but we're going we're gonna to talk about prayer in the next month or so. As we get back to school, we get back to church, we get back to life in a, in a sense that we've all grown accustomed to in the fall, you know, football and, yeah, football. That's my prayer. God, give me time just to watch a football game. I know that sounds silly, doesn't it? It's earnest, though. (laughs) I'm telling the truth. God, will you fix me? You know, that's a song. Fix me, Jesus. It's in your your hymnal. I wish I knew where it was. I'd say, turn there right now and just read it as your prayer today. Fix me. (laughs) That's That's when your prayer becomes bold, when you realize you need fixing, when you realize you need sin out of your life and you realize what it is that you're talking about when you say sin I've sinned and I've sinned but when you realize what it is that is in you that is not in his purpose and will for you whatever separates you from your prayer life whatever separates you from the almighty that could be that could be problematic in your prayer life that could be that could be what you need to pray for first father I come to you right now let's just pray Almighty and gracious God, I come to you right now and and I'm hurting. I'm trying to figure out all these things that are going on in my life. The the constant barrage of of death and sickness and and all those things that that only you can help me with. I pray that you do that today. I pray that you help each of us with a, a problem that we do not want to mention. That we do not want to speak of but still a problem exists. We pray that we are through with that, that we cast it aside, that we ask you to help us cast it out of our lives, that we ask you to help us do away with that today because we want to walk in righteousness. We want to walk in your righteousness. We want to walk in your will. We want to do what it is that we were purposed to do, what you created us to do today. That's my prayer. Amen and amen. I haven't, uh, we were supposed to get interrupted about right now. I've talked to Debbie. They're going to come in and sing their song after our hymn of invitation. So if you guys want to stay seated for the last hymn, 
that'll be fine. And uh, you can find that on page 314 in your hymnal. And then the kids are going to come in and sing a little song for you before we depart. part earlier. <laughs> jump. I'm going to jump. Okay. Get it all. You want to speak? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be awesome. We want to welcome you to the closing ceremony of the 2020 Champions for Christ. Yay! Sunday fun day. So the kids have a little bit of something to show you just a little bit about what we learned from Isaiah 40, 31 today. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, I thought they were going to show you something. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to remember what this was? <laughs> I want to jump, want to jump, 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 jump for Jesus. I want to jump, 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 jump for Jesus. I want to jump, 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 jump for Jesus. I just want to do. Whatever he calls me to do I wanna jump, 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 jump for Jesus I wanna jump, 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 jump for Jesus 
I want to work for the Lord and do what he wants me to do. I want to jump, 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 jump for Jesus. I want to jump, 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 jump for Jesus. I want to jump. Jump, jump, jump for Jesus. I want to jump, 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 jump for Jesus. Thank you, Aubrey. I appreciate that so much. <laughs> okay, we're all singing again. Are we singing? Okay. This little light of mine, I want to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. From the word or hood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm gonna let it shine. All around the neighborhood, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine. Won't let Satan it out. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I don't think anything more blessing, uh, more of a blessing could happen today at the end of church. And I'm so uh, grateful that the, uh, that the children came today and had their, uh, I shared a few gummy worms with them, I'll tell you the truth, this morning. So They are champions for Jesus, and that is true, and, and so should we all be. So go today in the name of the one who sent us, the name of the one who created us, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, go today and be the light.